Several arrests for civil disobedience. This aimed at sending a message to United Airlines. Airport workers joining union and community leaders outside of the headquarters at Willis Tower. This ahead of a big shareholder meeting today. Now the union is sympathizing with the workers. O'Hare workers are coming together with other airport workers from major cities across the country, all fighting for a better life by sticking together and speaking out. That union president whose organization does not represent union employees was among those arrested. This was the scene as a group blocked traffic near Willis Tower. There were a total of 30 arrests of airline workers and sympathizers there. The workers claim that United hires contractors who undercut jobs at O'Hare and undermine their safety and security. United did just release a statement saying it holds its vendors to its highest standards and requires them to follow the law. Also, Chopper 2 over Oak Brook a little bit earlier this morning for another protest. The fight for 15 marching outside of McDonald's corporate headquarters. Thousands are demonstrating for a $15 an hour minimum wage for fast food workers. CBS News Mike Puccinelli has been there with the crowds. Mike, good morning. Hi, it's quiet right now. As I step out of the way, you can see that the barricades are gone and the police are nowhere in sight. The annual shareholders meeting is over, but not before boisterous protests took place a couple of hours ago. Hundreds of activists chanted and marched around McDonald's corporate headquarters in Oak Brook. They were there to greet shareholders arriving for the company's annual meeting. Police shut down Jory Boulevard for several hours to accommodate the protesters who were marching as part of the Fight for 15 movement. But officers also made sure no protesters were able to enter the McDonald's campus. Marchers say the world's second largest private employer fails to pay a living wage. They want union rights and a $15 an hour minimum. Several workers spoke out on their own behalf. We're tired of living in poverty. Meanwhile, they get to build a new headquarters in downtown Chicago, which I'm pretty sure is pretty expensive. And we can't even afford to buy our children the toy that they want or put food on the table. And that is right. absolutely unacceptable. This is modern day slavery. It's modern day slavery. And it doesn't make any sense. We deserve dignity. We deserve $15 an hour. We deserve to be able to take care of our kids. My son, I can't even buy him any shoes. Now, Chopper 2 was overhead as the protesters began their half-mile march from one McDonald's office building to the sprawling gated campus where the shareholders' meeting was being held. Police on bicycles and on foot escorted the marchers. There were no incidents and no protesters attempted to cross the police line. Now, McDonald's did respond with a written statement saying, quote, in recent years we have raised pay and started offering paid time off at our company-owned restaurants. Now, one person from Corporate Accountability International actually did make it inside that meeting, and he said he made his arguments, but felt that they really fell on deaf ears inside. Reporting live outside McDonald's corporate headquarters in Oak Brook, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron, Lionel. All right, Mike, thank you.